Hello and welcome back to episode 11 to this My Team series. Hopefully it's not... Hopefully this game become doesn't become too laggy. Otherwise, uh, I, I won't be able to show it. But this is basically round two of the Spurs Twin Towers. Aldridge and Duncan combined. I kind of have a feel for what needs to be done defensively. But... Uh, once again, we have another Kyrie Irving player, along with J.J. Redick, Carmelo Anthony, J.V., and God Zinger or Porzingod, depending on how you look at that. But it is Chris Stapp's Porzinger. And lo and behold, he's the first one to score the opening bucket. It looks like this guy is a Knicks fan uh, with alternate, well, self-designed Nick's jerseys here and LA does manage to finish with a very tough layup over a taller poor zinger Jordan Clarkson really is the key here and right when I say that he does do the ball but um I think it's the rim stuff yeah it's the rim stuff I, I didn't block him it's unlikely I'll be able to block mellow still one of the more deadly scores in the league right now but last episode Clarkson was not able to do too much to uh, Kyrie Irving containment wise defensively he's just very difficult to stop um, it's not uncommon at all for anyone to have a Irving on their team because he does break down defenses on his own and Mel does get by very difficult matchup for Carroll as well, but uh, yeah, dunk after dunk, that's got to change. I may or may not put in Kawhi Leonard as my third goal player instead of Klay Thompson. I, I, I don't know yet. That could be a possibility at this point. Okay, he did avoid the screen here, but uh, Melo looks like playing the four, kind of. Ooh, JV does block Aldridge. He's going to pass it, I think. Yeah, he does. And he does manage to throw in the alley -oop pass. That's a street ball move right there by Damari Kerr. But no, that's just a uh, honest mistake here. And it's a wrong pass. I was going to give it to Aldridge on that. He does get the ball back this time around with a two-handed slam. We're going to have to see what happens here because... Uh, really, really difficult. Oh, wow. What a dunk. Really difficult to stop drill penetration on the pick and roll when your bigs are a little bit slower. Um, there's a couple ways to do it here. You can sort of try to manually ice the pick. Yeah, that's not a good shot. You can try, try to manually ice the pick, or you can run a third defender and kind of give up an open shot there. But either way, it's a little bit risky, I would say. Um... So we got, well, what a block by JV, I think. I don't think he can do much from that. Yeah. Yeah, he can't do much from that. Just put a hand up there and away we go. Give it back to him. And he does end up missing the one head open dunk for some strange reason. I don't think I can get to him. Yeah, he's too slow. He is too slow. I don't think I... Yeah, I don't believe... We don't have much of an identity. I guess that's really the crisis, really. Not sure what type of play style I wanted. I mean, remember last year we had Gasol, Marc Gasol, and we had um, Tim Duncan. So, okay, what was that? It's just completely overplayed there. Porzingis out of position. Chris Stapp's Porzinger. <laughs> it's Porzingis, actually. I, I, kept, I keep calling him Porzinger because the Knicks fans have been calling that since forever uh, once he started playing very well that's a new one uh, a new flagrant one has been called on Valanchunas so that's two shots I think it's two shots and the ball if I'm not mistaken so it's slightly different than a technical which is I think impossible to get to receive a technical foul in this game but anyhow it doesn't matter 
The point of the matter is we do need to figure a way out to stop dribble penetration, whether it be playing zone, icing the pick, running a third defender, rotating on defense. Whatever needs to be done needs to be done. And I just completely bricked that free throw. Courtney Lee is actually not as bad. Um, he is, again, another great 3 and D guy. The overall stats doesn't really do him justice. Uh, overall rating, sorry. Doesn't really do him justice. In my humble opinion. Mellow isolation makes a tough shot and one. And right now, I'm, I'm not running double teams at him yet. The reason why is I want to see how he reacts um, right now. Darren Collison just running through like seven guys, losing the ball. Uh, could we cut him off, maybe. Aliyup to Porzingis, who does miss. Not our turn to run the fast break here. Give it back to him. Lee probably should have dunked it, but we'll take two points. Mello, just want to protect the paint while I sort of step up on him because I just completely got lost there. <laughs> He, made, he he got the moves on me, and I failed to push him. I think pushing him baseline would probably be the best bet. And uh, yeah, I think I got blocked again, or it was either a steal or a block. Can't really tell. Things will block. But uh, yeah, Porzingis taking a very tough shot right before halftime, and we are down. That's not a good look either. You just really got to keep it simple for that, for that rook. Um, a very talented rookie indeed. What is Clay Thompson doing? Just, you know, not being in position to shoot threes. That's what happens with, with AI-controlled players. They sort of roam too far, and they're not Steph Curry, so they shouldn't really be shooting threes that are like three to four feet away from the arc, you know. And just, hmm. Let's get blocked by LA. Surprisingly playing better defense than Tim Duncan, at least in this game. Um, I think that's JV guarding me And yet I'm not able to blow by him What type of defense is this? I mean And Melo of course finishes again He is just burning me up 8 for 11 17 points well, One rebound is kind of irrelevant in my opinion um, But yeah I do, I do enjoy The custom jerseys quite a bit I'm just not very artistic enough To create my own at this point in time, I'm loving all. The, I'm also loving the custom arenas. However, they should really make hard rules. For for example, you need to be able to see where the lines are. Out of bounds line, I think is very important. Three point arc very important, and the paint is very important as well. That's that's my only gripe about. It. Also, the half court line sometimes doesn't appear either, so you don't really know if it's a half court violation or not. But aside from that, really, it, it's just. Limit, li limitless opportunities, really. Oh, the charging foul. That doesn't happen very often either. Markeith Morris or Marcus Morris. Can't tell either. They look exactly the same as their twins. All right, we got Kmart, who is doing Kmart things. We got four guys in the paint now. Probably holding the ball for too long anyways. Um, But he rips, he rips through and does manage to Put up a layup that does not go in. JV with the put back. So we're still not out of this. Uh, we still got a little bit of time left in this quarter. So we could make a push. We just got to play some tight defense here. David West, I did manage to bring on the team as well as a backup four. Sometimes backup five, uh, depending on situation. But uh, yeah. Porzingis with a three. I'm not sure what his three-point rating is, but I don't think he's a three-point shooter. Again, Courtney Lee completely bricking the layup for some range. For some strange reason, he shouldn't be. But anyhow, I probably shouldn't be shooting that either. In retrospect, we are only down seven still. Okay. 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 I'm not sure if this is the Morris brother that can shoot or not. That's a crazy alley pass. 
I mean, I know Perzingis can jump, but that's pushing it. Okay, Lee does get back the two points that he owes me from the four or five possessions uh, missed layup. Um, but again, we need a couple of stops, and with Kyrie Irving, that's just very difficult to do, especially in my team. He's, he's probably the most common point guard I've seen, uh, gold point guard, that is, that I've seen thus far. I have not seen a single Kyle Lowry, by the way, which is not too surprising because his initial rating is not very good. Okay, well, I forced that one. I do admit that. Okay, Mello, open two. We got a break. We had an easy break from that. All right, get back to him. LA, I'm loving those trailing two-point shots from the elbow extended. That's basically his shot and where he's going to get open, typically speaking. It's because the defense doesn't collapse well enough, and uh, I don't know why. I think he just lost his hand on that one. Technically, it's a travel. I don't think I poked the ball away from him. Okay, he makes another move. And that's what happens. That late rotation. But it's hard. It's hard. Melo is definitely a top five scorer in the league right now. Still down five. We got 30 some odd seconds left. And uh, yeah. Does manage to break the press. And that's pretty much going to be it. I need some. I need to heave three point shots at this point, basically. Um, but yeah. Other than that, this game's probably going to be over. So. I need, to, I need to start making some threes to, to have any hope of getting back in this game. They can probably drag it out all the way too with 29.5 seconds left. Just don't let him get to Melo or Irving. Um, but yeah, he does break us down. And he just goes all the way. <laughs> he doesn't even bother shooting free throws. Um, but that's okay. Got less than 24. Down seven. We need to shoot some threes. But uh, we go with the hook, and even that doesn't go for LA. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to foul them anymore because uh, then it would just be like a three-point heaving contest. And that's there's no point. So I'm 0-2 right now with Timmy D and LaMarcus Aldridge. He does throw up the last second shot anyways. It doesn't really matter. So we're split in seed 7, 2-2 two and two right now. So I lost both games actually with the Twin Towers. So I need to make some adjustments. I might just start Kawhi Leonard and take out Clay Thompson. I, I don't know yet. I, I just need some defense right now. Clarkson went off. Aldridge went off. We're unfortunately 0-2 with the Twin Towers, but that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.